this time it's Fields on the carry. Watch out. Justin Fields. Hello, Columbus. 51 yards. Justin Fields. Well, they got a big hole because watch the eyes of the FAU players. They're all going with Dobbins on the offense's right. Fields with a big hole, and then you see that explosiveness. First down at the Florida Atlantic 32. Fields lets it fly high. Touchdown, Ohio State. Benjamin Victor, 32 yards. J.K. Dobbins. Can they catch him? They cannot. A Buckeye touchdown. Watch pitch close right here at the bottom of the screen. He's there. And Perry Young gets out of place. And then Dobbins, easy hole to run through. The ability to show some long speed right there. Offensive line getting up on their blocks. will be employ a little bit more of an open pass game. Ritter. Kick ball intercepted. Tough Borland's got it. And he's got a caravan. Down the sideline. Again, Cincinnati comes away empty as Ritter forced to throw. There's that man again, Sean Wade, missed one last drive, being around the football, able to get some form of the body to pop it up to Tough Borland. Well, it was one of those pick plays that just didn't work out the way that they wanted, and Ritter looked like he predetermined that was where he Watch was Watch these guys, the corner and Wade. You're going to get it. both receivers switched. They're going to pass it off. You take out, I'll take in. Desmond Ritter's anticipating Wade's going to run out of there. That's exactly what you thought. It was a pick play. Down at the IU 37. Play fit. Field sets up. Goes for the home run. Down the field. Wide open. Chris Olave. Touchdown, Buckeyes. 37 yards. See the safety right here. He's going to bite down the field on the big play fake. And now Fields knows he's got Olave wide open. And he throws a great ball to the back of the end zone. And Olave is able to just run under it. The wide receivers get tighter towards the ball. It's a bunch formation. They love to run crossing routes from this. Third down and six. They'll run Dobbins around the corner. Dobbins looking for the first down. He has it and more. Still in a move. Dobbins. Touchdown, Buckeyes. What a run by J.K. Dobbins. A 26-yard touchdown. Down six missed tackles. You could say maybe one right there, maybe a half. So you got one right there. Two, three, four, a stiff arm, five, and a sixth. And Dobbins and is into the end zone. What a How about player. the little guy with some strength at the end of that run? There's just a difference when you get one of those dudes. How about this run? Teague breaks a tackle on his way. Master T touchdown Ohio State 40 yards Check out the offensive line. They're going down 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 Then you're gonna get a kick out from the tight end right there And then the other tight end leads up the hole Teague reads it missed tackle plagued Indiana all season long touchdown Buckeyes Third down and goal at the seven Ramsey wants to throw it Does and intercepted David Arnett Watch out, Damon Arnett breaks across the field. Damon Arnett still on the move. Damon Arnett stayed in school. Chris Carter said you weren't ready. Well, hey, Hall of Famer, I'm getting ready. 97 yards for a touchdown. What a play. Here's the tight end, Peyton Hendershot. He's coming across the field here. Arnett waits for him in the zone coverage, jumps the route. What an athletic play just to get the interception, and then he's gone. Cuts it back once. And now going deep. Fields into the hands of K.J. Hill, and K.J. Hill into the end zone. Play action pass. Justin Fields is looking towards K.J. Hill the entire way. And K.J. Hill, the experienced veteran. Opportunities in the passing game. Ohio State yet to convert today on third down. Fields going for it all. Got it. Did he get down in bounds? Yes. Touchdown. Spectacular catch by Benjamin Victor on a great pass from Justin Fields. 30 yard completion on third and 20. Look at him getting that foot in bounds. Or whatever in it. 
It's a lot easier when you can just use the all-for-one body wash instead of shampoo and conditioner. How about checking off? Go for the end zone! And it's caught by Wilson! A 50-50 ball, and the freshman who's having a great game is oh, able to reel it in. And here's our look at it. It is a BT and standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Let's see. He goes up. He gets it initially. That just bobbles around in his hands. Oh, that's a that's touchdown. That's a touchdown. And a beautiful touchdown at that. you got to love Chris Chuganoff giving him an opportunity to go up and get it. That might be on the segment you got mossed. Well, Rucker Furlow was trying to say, hey, he was grabbing my helmet and pulling it back. But there was no flag. There was, a, Yeah, you would say that right hand definitely got on the top of his helmet there. Regardless, the ability, the body control of Garrett Wilson. To come in here for the first four weeks. Yeah, uh, you know, they get equal reps at practice, and Ryan Day has said to local media that, you know, it's tough when you're game planning the starter. As we see the speed here. Oh, the big time speed for Jamison Williams. Both freshman receivers have been in the end zone. Garrett Wilson and now Jamison Williams. 61 yards from Hope. It'll be unbelievable. Well, here we just see the pure speed of number six. Once he puts his foot in the ground, it's, he's gone. He's out of there. See that long stride, and this time because he pulls away. And look who's the first down there. Garrett Wilson, his freshman teammate in that room, is a, sprinting as hard as he is to get to that end zone to celebrate. Speaking of the celebration, just a little bit off. He's 10 yards downfield, just pushing red jerseys backwards. Fields fires to the end zone. Mack dives. Caught it for a touchdown. Buckeyes can do no wrong. And this is a beatdown. Throw was right there. Good for Austin Mack, who's had to wait his turn as an Ohio State receiver with so much talent. He goes up, good placement of the football, but great concentration and high pointing the ball and out fighting Boodle as they go down to get that possession and get the touchdown. First of the year for Mack, 16 different Buckeyes have caught passes. They have spread the ball all over the place. Incredibly difficult to defend this depth of playmaker. Had a ton of injuries up front over the last couple years. Play action, now a slant, and that's Cody White. Who lost the football? It's loose. And the Buckeyes, Malik Harrison has the takeaway. Exactly what the Spartans did not need. And Ohio State set up inside the 30. Bridge doesn't give up on the play. Lewerke squeezes it in. But right there, watch, watch Arnett try to fight to get that football out. Once the ball is out, that's where Malik Harrison jumps on it. Just make sure he has complete possession of the ball. It looks like he does. And then Arnett gets his hand in there to knock it out. Only the fifth turnover for the season for Michigan State. Exactly what they did not want to happen. They have to win the turnover battle, you feel. From the 40. Fields rolls out and looks to throw. And they fooled him. And Benjamin Victor is wide open. Makes a move. Gets the sideline. Dives. No signal. Touchdown. Watch what happens with Victor, what he shows here and confuses Michigan State. He's almost like a stock block, right? So you got two Michigan State defenders with their eyes completely on, on the quarterback, Justin Fields. Now what happens is nobody picks up Benjamin Victor after he has shows that block. The other defensive backs in man-to-man, -man, and now it's Victor who's showing he can make plays the last couple years after the catch down the sideline and reaching. Makes the leap there. He's hit in the air by Scott. As he flips over, the ball comes out of his hand. Now, Dave Kataya, as always, our rules expert in the booth. A couple things you got to look at, Dave, on this play. Well, the key is, first of all, he went airborne. That means he's got to get the ball inside over the top of the pylon. The second thing is, does he have control? All right, so that ball breaks the paint of the pylon. The question is, was it was over the top? Probably won't need him, but they do have all three timeouts. And it's a first down, and much more as Dobbins breaks free in the clear foot race. Oh, finally, touch him, but not tackle him. Touchdown, Ohio State. 
off the offensive line, the center, left guard, Jonah Jackson, the center, Josh Myers. They're going to be able to pick up some blocks, and you'll see him hit this crease. It's his own read where he's reading the in man on the line of scrimmage. But the safety here, Xavier Henderson, very poor angle in run support and trying to come up, takes the wrong angle and opens that up. Instead of a 10-yard gain, it goes to the house for a touchdown, and Xavier Henderson has been playing well tonight. A misstep that cost him, but a good job up front. Look at the physicality up front by Josh Myers, the center. They get the push that we haven't seen a lot of tonight. If you give J.K. Dobbins a little bit of room, he's going to do this. Josiah Scott showed some speed, chased him down, but Dobbins able to survive. Continues to put pressure on you. Master T breaks one loose. There goes Teague and the freshman in a foot race that he will win. Touchdown, Ohio State. It's a 73-yard run. Can't miss him. He was fun to watch him warm up. And watch him wash down that defensive line. And Master Teague, pretty masterful. Slow to explode through and right behind Mr. Jones. Pretty cool. And look at the big fella. When you dive into the stats, the most impressive thing about this Ohio State offense and the individuals like J.K. Dobbins is that imagine what their statistics would look like if they were playing four quarters. Going deep here, Fields. He wants Alave. He's got Alave. Chris Alave all the way down to the 10 yard line. Late substitutions there by Rutgers. They look a little out of sorts defensively. Swinging it out. And that's Jalen Gill, second catch of the game. And Jalen Gill all the way into the end zone as he drags Trey Avery for six. And out presented by Auto Owners Insurance, 32 yards impressive by Gill. Yeah, impressive blocking by his other wide receivers. And then Gill does it all himself. As you said, drags Trey Avery for about six yards here. But the spin move, the stay in bounds, and then continue to drive his legs. 133 yards rushing for Dobbins on 31 carries. Fields pump fake, lets it fly. Touchdown, Chris Olave. Move like silk sheets on the outside. How about he goes up high to get this? Great hands and then muscles the ball away from two defenders on his way. Fields to throw, steps up. Delivers deep down the field. He's got a receiver. A long a touchdown, Buckeyes. 57 yards. Alave's on the outside. He's one of the best deep threats in college football, and they just absolutely blow the coverage. Josh Metellus, number 14, he got caught inside looking at the tight end. He can't do that with Olave on the field, right down the field, and that was a beautiful throw. Fields to throw it. Pump fake. Scrambles. Sets, fires, touchdown, Garrett Wilson. Wow. Have a day, Garrett Wilson. Unbelievable. What a play. Wilson stays alive, gets the feet down in the end zone. That was a dime by Fields. Think about it. Fields is running dead left. What a day. What a life, Dobbins. First down, Dobbins. Dives. Touchdown, Ohio. State. What does this kid not do? He's churning the clock out in between the tackles and then bam, lightning on the outside, the explosiveness to go down and then up and over the top to put that ball over the goal line. He always knew that his son JK would push through and go places he never had a chance to go. Fields up the sideline. Holy mackerel! Or holy mack! Austin Mack, what a catch. From right here in Indiana, from Fort Wayne. One-handed, holds it in. There with two catches, didn't have a catch last week against Michigan, second and four. Here's Fields with time in the end zone. Oh, what a catch. Come on. Come on. Give me that rock. Touchdown, Buckeyes.